I'm Matt Cerrone from Metsblog.com and SNY.TV, and I'm here with David Wright. One person who knows firsthand about the passion Mets fans possess is Metsblog.com founder and creator Matt Cerrone. For the past 10 years, Cerrone has been overseeing one of the most popular fan sites in the U.S. But growing up, his affection for the Mets had just as much to do with his mom than the actual team itself. I became a Mets fan uh, kind of later, I think, than most. Um, I would say around 9, 10 years old, right time, 85, 86. My uh, love affair with going to Shea actually started with my mom because uh, she would sort of break me out of school. We'd go, like, you know, play hooky and she'd take me to games or, you know, right after school we'd jump in the van, drive down, down to Shea. So to me the memory is really, oh, this is this cool thing to do, uh, you know, because mom sort of made it this sort of special thing to, to leave school for and that's kind of what made me sort of enjoy it and appreciate it more than anything. I really feel like my fanship peaked in those late 90s teams with the Bobby V, Edgardo Alfonso, uh, you know, Mike Piazza, all that stuff. That to me was tremendous and they didn't win a World Series but they were some of the most fun teams I've ever rooted for. Um, I actually almost got thrown out of the ballpark once for yelling so, you know, crazy to the Braves bullpen. So that was definitely, you know, for me, the peak of it. I was going with my buddies. It wasn't a family thing anymore. It was a way to sort of hang out and have a good time. And then I started the blog not too long after that. So, uh, you know, that definitely for me was the peak of sort of, you know, Mets fanship. It was a project for school, and it seemed like kind of a cool way to stay in touch with what was going on. And it was pre, uh, you know, social media and all this stuff, so it wasn't so easy to stay connected with the fan base. This was a way to sort of keep myself aware of the news cycle and, and stay up on things. And class ended. I kept writing it. People kept reading. I turned it into a business and, and uh, partnered with SNY. It was a time, I would say around 2005, 2006, which was perfect timing given the crescendo of the team, uh, where readership started to increase. And I started to realize, wow, there's something here. It's this hunger and this obsessive, uh, compulsive, needing all the information, wanting the team to be better, wanting to know everything that's going on. There's a focus and a passion that Mets fans bring to the table. It's incredibly unique. It's 162 games. It's 24-7 all year. It never stops. That The Mets fans are just laser focused on seeing this team win. While his job with SNY requires him to provide information to Mets fans, his job at home these days is to provide for his two young daughters, something that brings a completely different set of obstacles, especially since his wife is a Yankees fan. It's interesting, I mean, you know, with the two kids, that's posed its own set of challenges because, you know, our youngest is one, our oldest is about to be three, and so the, you know, they're becoming aware of baseball, my oldest wants to play, and so now it's a matter of, well, my wife's a Yankee fan, I'm a Mets fan, that's not changing, but my rule is, as long as they're not Phillies fans, or any team in the NL East, really, uh, and for my wife, Red Sox fans, that seems to be our common ground, uh, then it's up to our kids. If, if they both want to be Mets fans, great. If they want to be Yankee fans, I'll have to deal with it. Um, you know, I won't be happy, but, you know, I'll respect their choice. Just no Phillies.